Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Evacuation Point Suicidal. And today, there's been some events happening in, uh, in, in some locations where uh, events are quite common. But I'm Canadian, so what I did today was I ordered sushi, and uh, it was very good. And then I read some manga, and uh, started recording, played a bit of Minecraft. It's uh, I mean, the, the the stuff going on. It's 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 worth talking about, you know. It is. It's it's important stuff. That's that's definitely going to have some kind of an impact on a on a national level for sure, and probably a global scale as, as well in the future. But you know, it's like everybody everywhere is just constantly talking about it, and everybody everywhere is always like, "Well, you got I mean, I'm the people who I talk to anyway." The, the communities I'm in, people very uh, sad and upset and bothered by the uh, the events transpiring, and uh, I just don't really want to talk about it. You know, and I don't know if people want to talk about it either. Is the other thing. You know, I feel like there's a lot of uh, people out there who appreciate having an escape from that kind of nonsense. You know, and that's uh, that's what we're gonna do. So I had sushi today, and. Uh, some tuna belly, and uh, of course a cucumber roll, and uh, some miso with some rice. Miso and rice is, is it's such a fantastic combination, honestly. Like yeah, you, you put the some miso soup, and you put it into the rice, and then then you just you just eat it, and it's 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 a wonderful combination. It's a match made in heaven, or perhaps Japan. Many would argue they're the same thing, but uh, those people we call weebs, and they're wrong. But it's uh, it's a very it's a very delightful thing. A lot of people don't do it. You know, a lot of people will will go to a Japanese restaurant, and they'll order miso soup and they'll order you know a side of rice with it, but they won't combine them. And uh, it's sad because these people they don't know the glory of combining the two. You, j you just take the miso soup and you dump it in. You know, you dump in an amount that gets you to the to the to the you know consistency that you want. I'm I'm personally a fan of a, of a pretty soupy rice, honestly. I quite like it, but uh, I, you know, some some people prefer uh, you know for it to to maintain its more uh, sort of structural integrity and not put in as much of the soup. I just, I just, I take the soup and I just dump it right in. However much soup there is, that's the amount of soup that goes in my rice. You know, as, uh, assuming the, uh, the space is there for the, for the soup to fit within the confines of the container holding the rice. But I'm, I'm a fan of it. It's like the perfect rice seasoning, you know? It's as good as it gets. So that was my lunch today, and like honestly, the rest of my food for the day. Um, <laughs> I haven't eaten anything else today. I'm probably not going to. Um, but it was uh, it was quite good. I sat with my cats on the uh, on the couch for a while. Had a bit of a nap. She fell asleep in my arms, so I couldn't move. You know. I took a picture of it. It's really hard to take a picture of uh, when you have a large phone like I do anyway. I have the Samsung Note 20, or not Note, no, not the, the Samsung S20 or whatever. So it's a it's a, it's a fairly large phone, and uh, holding it with just one hand is is fine for most use cases. But when I have to like, you know, zoom in on a picture and like open up the camera app and hit the button and then you know go and like find the picture and stuff and with with just the one hand at that angle because it's like twisting myself up because she's on the one arm and then I have to like stretch my other arm across it to... it was uh, it was an ordeal taking that picture I tell you I tell you somebody is using the washroom I don't know if you could hear that but uh, somebody apparently needs to use the washroom right now so that was what that uh, thunk was in the background you probably hear another one in a moment possibly even hear the the toilet flushing when they're done and and hopefully the tap come on We'll see. 
It's always nasty when you go out. Well, perhaps not these days. Or perhaps even more these days. Uh, it's more nasty, but maybe less frequent. Um, but uh, when, when, you know, back before COVID, when, uh, you, you, you know, going outside was a thing. Remember, remember that? When, like, the outdoors was, like, a place we could go and, and be in comfortably. Um... It was, uh, you'd go to the washroom or something, and people wouldn't wash their hands. They just wouldn't. They, they, you'd, 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 you'd be in the washroom, you know, sitting in the stall or whatever, doing your, doing your thing. And you hear somebody come else, some, somebody else come in, and they finish up a little bit quicker than you, because, you know, number two versus number one. The, the speed is just, uh, there's a bit of a difference there. There's a bit of a delta between the two, you know? Um, so you, somebody else comes in, and you don't hear that tap come on. You know, it's, it's even worse when you're, like, at work. You're using the work washroom or something, and it happens. Because you're like, I have no idea who that is, but I do not want to go anywhere near you. Like, I used to work in, uh, you know, I've, I've worked in a lot of places, and uh, a lot of them have been food-related. And uh, even, even then, you know, you'd be able to hear people not washing their hands in the bathroom. And I'm like, you're making people's food with those hands? And, uh, uh-huh. Kind of, kind of nasty, dude. It's always, it's always gross when people don't wash their hands. I think I've gone on this rant before, but I, I hear people say, you know, oh, like uh, I had a shower. It's not that. Th look, no, it's, it's, it's like just wash your hands, dude. It, it takes like 20 seconds. It's, it's not a, it's not a major investment. I don't, I don't care what your excuse for not doing it is. It's, it's 20 seconds of your time. Just do it. It's not, it's not a huge time investment. It's not at all. Just uh, just wash them. But a lot of people didn't do that. I don't know. I haven't, uh, haven't gone to any public washrooms since COVID started, actually. Uh, so I don't know if people are better about washing their hands now. I'd assume yes, but probably a lot of people still not washing their hands. I know there were a lot of people who like protested COVID at the start, especially, and I think still now. It is crazy that... Um, Talking about COVID is a political issue sometimes. It's just insane, dude. It's insane. But, uh, yeah, just wash your hands, dude. So it's a simple thing. Anyway, I'm pretty sure they wash their hands. That's that's the story of, uh, I heard somebody have to go into the bathroom. I, uh, my bedroom is right next to... Right next to the bathroom. People don't usually use that bathroom other than me. Because other people live upstairs and I live downstairs, but uh, the living room that other people use is downstairs, so... Uh, on occasion, you know, perhaps like once a night or twice a night, maybe they'll use that one. And then for, you know, showers and stuff like that, they use the, the upstairs bathroom. Um, just when they're like watching TV or going to bed or whatever. They typically use that one. Uh, or, you know, in the morning before they leave for work or something, you know? Something like that. But it's always, it always kind of gives me a little bit of a panic attack, you know? Like, not not a full-on panic attack, but sort of the, the beginnings of it. The, the, the little inkling of uh, anxiety when I hear the uh, the doors, like, open. Because I think it's my door, you know? I think somebody opened my door, and I'm like, oh my god, do I have clothes on right now? <laughs> am, I, am, I, am, I, am I fit to be seen currently? Am I in the presence of fabric? The answer is usually mostly yes. Oh my days. It's weird having these large flesh pounds, because we had the uh, the Christmas flesh pounds for a while, right? And they were... It feels like smaller. These ones just feel like... They feel like thick boys, you know what I mean? Like you kind of... You kind of... Kind of feeling me on that? Like the Christmas boys kind of feel a little bit less thick. Like they're, but now they're like thick with like 18 C's. I don't know. I don't know what it is about him, but some something just kind of. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to clad him. Something about these these uh, original flesh pounds. They just they just feel thick. They feel thick as bro. Okay. You know I don't know how many times I've done exactly that. Like opened this up. Do do do. Buy the 
Glock and then upgrade it. Like, I don't know how many times I've done that exact mouse movement, but it's it's got to be in the hundreds by now, right? Because I do like, you know, I do like two episodes or two matches on most, not all, but most videos. Um, and, you know, 525 videos or something. Stupid like that. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot of buying blocks and upgrading them. Mind you, you know, I, I don't only play Gunslinger, but... There's, uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a lot of, a lot of the content is Gunslinger. It's definitely my favorite class, if you haven't noticed. I view it as the, uh... You know, you know what got me into Gunslinger, honestly? It's, it's kind of a pathetic story. Um, not really pathetic, but it's kind of funny. Uh, I was on Reddit browsing the KF2 subreddit once, and there was a post about, uh, you know, because because they make posts about um, sort of just social etiquette in KF2. From time to time, they'll 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 do one like, you know, make sure you don't burn the stupid flesh pounds, you gosh darn firebugs, or like uh, whatever. So there's one that was um, it, it was something like. Um, you know, stick with your team because, uh, like, it's, it's better. Everybody gets to have a better time if you stick with your team because you just get to kind of work together and defend a little bit more efficiently and you don't have, like, blind spots and all this kind of stuff. So, like, stick together. And then somebody in the comments was like, me as a Chad Slinger, you go do whatever you want. <laughs> and I'm like, I want to be a Chad Slinger. So I started playing Gunslinger. And then, uh, you know what, just... Just, just clicked for me. It just clicked. We're coming up on uh, on twenty with the survivalist now. We're gonna get our second prestige there now. Soon, soon. It's gonna. I'm telling you. I'm taking survivalist all the way up to max prestige, and we are not touching it <laughs> ever. I, I I've played maybe like two or three games total as uh, as survivalist. We will we will not play it, but we will max prestige on it. And I'm look I'm looking forward to that day. Max prestige survivalist without ever playing survivalist, basically. Just because you, you get such a pittance of, of XP as uh, as any class in the survivalist class, and uh, you know it adds up when you play as many games as I do. It adds. I might take uh, you know a few years. Honestly, probably like two, is my guess. But all that means is two years from now I'll be max prestige survivalist. And uh, to me, that's that's uh, as good a uh, an outcome as any. I say. We still had to do all those achievements. I mean, I spent like so much time making that stupid achievement spreadsheet, and I, we haven't even used it. Gotta go fill them all out. We might get started on that soon. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. Cause like I want to do them. No. That's that's a lie. I lied to you. I'm sorry. I I want them to be done. I just don't want to do them. You ever you ever have stuff like that? You know, where where you you want the outcome of something. You're like, yeah, I, I wish I I've done that. Like, well, why don't you just go do it? I have no desire to do it. I just I wish that it's something that I've done. You know, like past me, I wish I was interested in that. And like I've accomplished that. So I'd, I'd love to be able to brag about it. I just I don't want to actually do it. It's a good. I think that uh, achieving all of the things in KF2 is is a, is a actually fairly respectable achievement in um, sort of the killing floor community. Anyway, it's not something that everybody does. I'm sort of I'm an achievement hunter anyway. Um, the stream that we were having on Wednesdays was kind of a, like, completionist sort of thing anyway. Um, we never ended up finishing Death Scan, but we're going to come back to it someday. I don't know when. Whenever I have the time. I'm, I'm really just, uh, I'm having trouble, like, kind of scheduling myself right now. It's just really confusing having the two Minecraft series, because I got, uh... The next Serenity episode goes up on Friday. I have nothing recorded for it, so I'll have to record all of that. And then the, the, the next single-player video goes up on Monday. And again, I have nothing recorded for that. And uh, it's it's pretty doable, right? Like, I, I, I do a bit of 
um, sort of prep work today for the Serenity episode. Um, you know, gather some resources or whatever, and then tomorrow I record uh, sort of the beginnings of the base and uh, edit it all together probably tomorrow as well. Upload it, get it ready for, for you know, Friday release. Take a break on Friday maybe, or um, spend Friday getting resources for the single player series. And then Saturday and Sunday, uh, do the recording for the single player series and, you know, kind of... You know, like, logically, it, it makes sense to me. Right? Like, it's... The, 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 the time is there for it to be done. It's just... It's a very... Confusing kind of thing to, to be having, honestly. You know, logically, it's there, but, like, from an emotion perspective, it's just... It's, it's a very overwhelming kind of thing. And I like it. It's not like I, I need to step back from it or whatever. I just I have to keep doing it until I get used to it. But, uh... Yeah, it's just I'm having trouble finding the time to do things. Like, I want to add in Gunslinger Reborn. I'm thinking I'm going to add Gunslinger... Or Gunfire, rather. I'm thinking I'm going to add Gunfire Reborn back to this channel rather than the other one. I'm not sure, though. I'm unsure. So I was thinking this would be like kind of a dead channel, but it's it's kind of just not. <laughs> it's like it's we're doing great on this channel. So I'm like, I don't know, maybe I should continue to care about this channel. I don't know. Things I think about. I'll have to come up with answers to all these questions someday. Not today though. Today I'm just gonna record this, go back to reading some manga, and prepare a little bit for the uh, the Serenity SMP video probably. I don't know what I'm going to do for it. got to get started on the base. I'm like, I don't know what I want to do for it, you know? Like, I don't know I don't know what I want the, the base to be. It's like a bloody what kind of theme do I want? Here. What kind of style? What kind of, you know, palette are we after? It's all, it's all a bunch of confusing stuff. Anyway. We'll have the Death Gambit stuff come back at some point. I do want to finish 100% that game. I feel like we were pretty close. Just uh, just a few more achievements left. A few really, really hard achievements left. But I feel like we were pretty close. I do feel like we were pretty close. Can't remember though. There was there was the beat the game in like under six hours without using a, or under four hours was it? Without using a. Uh, like without leveling up or whatever. That was pretty brutal. We did not finish that for sure. It was a brutal achievement. Didn't burn me out. It was it was getting close to burnout though. We were we were approaching burnout with that. Honestly, the game was fun the first time through. I'm just an I'm, a, I'm an achievement kind of person. I'm a, I'm a very, you know, uh, goal oriented. I guess is is that the word I use? Um, I like I like accomplishing things and, and having uh, my little you know achievement library kind of growing so I can show off and brag about it. I like those bragging rights. I like uh, like having things that I get to to show off because I never got to do that as a kid. I only got to be beaten up and uh, strangled, which are, are very different things from uh, from showing off. But. Nowadays, I'm good at games, so I get to I get to finish games, and then people go like, "Wow, you did it! I could never do that." And I'm like, "Dang straight, you could, and I'm better than you, dummy." I mean, you know, you say it a little bit nicer, but that's the meaning of what you're saying. You know, like you, you everybody knows that uh, that that's what's going on here. I'm kidding, of course. I'm being I'm being facetious. I have a very offensive and and dry sense of humor at times. I'm, I'm not sure you've noticed. The area gets it gets me in trouble from time to time because I'll say something that's like a joke and to me it's like reasonably funny and then somebody will be like wow that's kind of rude. And I'm like yeah I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Oops I'm sorry. Yeah it's, it's, it's a, I, I think making mistakes is fine as long as you apologize right? And like don't continue to do the same thing. I think a lot of people are too scared of, uh, of screwing up. I, I screw up all the time, you know. Like a lot of people, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of a, you know, here's your, here's your life lessons with Yama, okay? A lot, a lot of people are worried about uh, saying something or doing something that'll make somebody hate them. And uh, for the most part, 
The only thing you can say or do that'll make somebody hate you is be intentionally like rude. And then, like, you, you can make mistakes and do things. If your intent isn't to be rude, and it's not, like, an unbelievably stupid thing. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not saying you can go around saying, like, Hey, you're really fat. Should we, like, help you lose weight or something? Like, they might be a little bit mad about that. Like, don't be just completely dumb about it. But, like, you know, I, I'm pretty sure you're not going to go around being like, Yeah, your sense of style just sucks. I'm going to help you. Because, you're, you know, you're not trying to be offensive. But, like, it's, you know... Come on, let's 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 be better than that at least. Okay, there's a bare minimum that you kind of have to pass, but it's it's pretty it's pretty low. The bar is not very high. Um, and as long as you pass that bar, you can make the mistakes, you can do the things you you want, and if you mess it up, people will tell you, and then you just be sorry. You know, and a lot of a lot of people will say, you know, just apologize. That'll fix everything. I don't think I don't think apologizing fixes everything. I think you have to be sorry. You know, because apologizing doesn't necessarily mean that you actually like feel bad okay we're going this way now I don't like it though okay come on come on knock me please please ah. a, lot, a lot of people say that's an apology fixes everything yeah it doesn't you have to you have to be sorry my god they're just Best decision I ever made to come through here. <laughs> How many flesh pounds was that? Or quarter pounds? Like, what the heck? It was just like... 0 to 100 in record time there. My god. Uh, you know, you have, to, you have to be sorry. Right? I think that's the key to social success. Is when you mess up, you have to feel bad. If you, if you don't feel bad about it, then people aren't going to forgive you. And if you do, then people will. You know? Like, I mess up all the time. I, I say rude things, and I, like, insult people on accident. And then I feel bad, and they're like, yeah, you know, it did hurt, but, like, you know, thanks for, you know, showing that you, you didn't mean to and showing that you care and, you know, whatever. Because, uh, it means a lot more to, like, be upset that you hurt somebody than it does to hurt somebody usually right like like people will appreciate that more than they were hurt that makes sense so you just gotta you just gotta you know be pretty like generally a, a good person anyway I forget how we got onto this topic but uh, that's that's your that's your life lesson with Yama just uh, when 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 you when you did something bad, just feel bad about it. Okay, we'll uh, we'll walk over this way. Come on, come on. Yeah, I think I think I was talking about like that. I can't remember. It was relevant at some point, right? Just be sorry. That's all. It's okay to make mistakes. Don't be afraid of it. I, uh, I welcome them, you know. It's how I've it's how I've learned how it's uh, you know making mistakes is how I've learned how to you know be such a likable person. And because I tell you, like if you, if you talk to me like I don't know, ten years ago, fifteen years ago, or something like that, I am an insufferable piece of garbage. Just like just straight up, okay. I can I can admit it. I mean I made a lot of mistakes. People you know told me. Uh, the mistakes I made, I had, I, you know, a lot of therapy as well. Um, and then now I, 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 I view myself as a fairly reasonable, respectable, likable person. It's not to show off or anything, but, you know. It's, it's uh, the, the, the secret to, to social success is... At, at least on, like, a uh, micro level. On a, on, a, on a more, like, larger scale, if you want to be, like... Mark Zuckerberg or something, you know, you have to, you know, if you want to be somebody in the, in the limelight, you know, you, you got to be a little bit more aggressive about it. But, uh, you know, if you just want to have friends or whatever and, and have a good time, it's, it's just be a good person. That's all, that's all there is to it. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Where's our XP? We're getting there, dude. 
Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more of the future comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.